happy afternoon children welcome you to the next session of english to start with today's session what was the topic we were discussing in previous class it is story writing story writing i gave you few pictures how to do it and how you have to write a story i made it very clear in the previous session you have to give a title over there and you have to fill the questions after completing the questions if you are going to put the points together you can get a story para over there i gave you such idea how to write a story with the picture composition today what we are going to do is with a good procedure i'm going to teach you how to write a story since this story writing is an important topic from the board point of view i'm going to teach you how to write a story shall we get into today's session then okay with a positive note we'll get into today's session story writing what is story writing children do you have the habit of writing stories from your childhood or will you write stories with cartoons with cartoon scripts do you have any idea like that how to write stories story writing is something very important in your life and here i have a question for you let us not talk about story writing let us not talk about story writing come on tell me do you have the habit of writing diary will you write diary children and when you write diary do you mention what happened what happened that day or what happened in the past do you have that habit of diary writing if you have such habit of diary writing this story writing is going to be an easy exercise for you and as i told you it is an important topic from the board examination point of view you can have your class work notebook in hand to jot down the points which i am going to tell you now will you have your class work notebook in hand to jot down the points do it shall we start to start with story writing the first point which you have to pay importance is introduction what is the first point you have to pay attention it is introduction how for introduction is going to help you children if your introduction is going to be good the reader who is going to read your story will get a intention of reading your story and if your introduction is not going to be good the reader will have no interest so your introduction plays an significant role in story writing your introduction plays a significant role in story writing have a good introduction next when we go to the next point plot what is called plot of a story what is called plot of a story how we are going to write the story how we are going to take the story line by line sequence after sequence how we are going to make your story present in a better way that is what is called plot where you will have a twist over there where you will have a change over there that is called plot of a story so first comes what is the first thing you have to be careful it is introduction and next comes plot how you write a story and what is the thing you are going to change there what is the twist you are going to apply there this is called as the plot and next comes conclusion the ending part only three things you are going to follow children introduction the plot how we are going to connect it sequentially 
how we are going to make your points coherent how we are going to make your points have some correlation with one another see i am making use of various words over here when i discuss a word called plot how we are going to make your point appear in a coherent way to give a correlation and sequentially it should get connected the story should get connected sequentially if you are going to give any twist in the story you can make it prevail over there in the plot and finally what comes conclusion the concluding part of the story should create an impact on the readers what it should do it should create an impact on the readers so these are the three important ideas you should have in your mind next to start with wait for a while children i'll just move my image to make the things clear for you okay to start with introduction how an introduction should be you will have a question this is the first paragraph of the story in which you will introduce the character and you will introduce the time time is nothing but the story can be written in past tense or the story can be written in present tense or some incidents it may be presented in the future so the time which is going to be mentioned should be given here in the introductory part of the story and then comes the place then comes the place whether your story is being set in a jungle or whether your story is being set in a hill station or whether your story is being set in a hot spring things like that you have to be very clear so here you are going to introduce the readers the character of the story the timeline of the story and the setting the place of the story next comes three important points in introduction what are the three important points you have to have it in your mind when you write a story character and how we are going to bring the element of time the timeline and the setting the place of the story this plays an important role when we move on to the next thing what comes next as i told you it is the plot of the story what is called plot children i have already discussed with you what is called plot let me read it out first the plot is the main part of a story first you will introduce the characters timeline and place after doing that the plot is the main part of a story hence it must be developed with utmost care i told you i made use of the word no it should be coherent and it should be arranged in a sequential manner point should be correlated with one another so that is the thing it is mentioned here hence it must be developed with utmost care when you write the plot of the story when you write the scene of the story you have to be careful whether there is a link between the lines and the lines are sequentially arranged see to this line children it plays a vital role over here the writer must ensure the sequence of the events once you are going to have the sequence of the events your story will sound good your story will have a better note conveyed in it the writer must ensure the sequence of the events if you are going to be the story writer your role in ensuring the sequence it plays an important important point over here take down all these points in your class work notebook children story writing is not an easy job take down all these points in your class work notebook so when you write the story you will have all these points in your mind shall i pause for you or will you pause the video and you will take down all these points just pause the video and take down all the points
here i have given you introduction how the introduction should be and here i have told you how story writing should happen it should happen with the introduction with a plot and with a conclusion and how introduction should be with a character with the timeline and with the settings next comes the plot so these are the important things you should make a note of it in your classwork notebook which is going to help you write a story and next comes the final part of the story what is the final part of the story it is conclusion in this part of the story the conflicts are resolved what is the meaning of the word conflicts conflict variation in thoughts and it should be resolved resolved means it should come to an end over here in this part of the story the conflicts are resolved because this is the point where we are going to conclude the story and still if we are going to have the conflicts prevail in the story there will be no end point is it right in tamil movies you would have seen part 1 part 2 yes no so when the story is going to continue they name that as part 1 part 2 but when we write a story in board examination we have to be very careful we should start with an introduction and in the conclusion the story should we should put an end we should give a full stop the conflict should be resolved the twist in the story should be resolved the story must conclude with the clarity in the mind of the reader and why you are going to do this children how we are going to end the story you are going to resolve all the conflicts and while you resolve all the conflicts over here you are going to give a clarity in the mind of the reader am i clear what you are going to do you are going to give a clarity in the mind of the reader next so from board point of view from board examination point of view this story writing plays a pivotal role in your board exam you may have a question they'll give you a incident and they'll ask you to write a story you should be ready to write a story or they will give you an incident and they will ask you to write a article to share something on the thing which is given over there so this is very important topic note down all the points and now i have a question for you children what is that question i have a question for you when you sent your story on the fox and the goat have you followed all this instruction which is given by me did you follow the instruction which is given by me what are the instruction that is given by me the story should have an introduction the story should have a plot the story should have a conclusion have you given all that idea in the story just think for a while okay it makes you think now what you are going to do is 